everyone. In this relatively short video, we are gonna blow up some of these again and test in another fire safety device. Let's go. By the way, before we actually get into the meat and potatoes of the video, remember lithium ion batteries are extremely, extremely dangerous. The tests that were recorded for this video were done on private property in controlled settings with a very thoroughly researched, tested, and controlled testing methodology. This is for the sake of testing safety devices and seeing what data can be extracted therefrom. Lithium ion batteries are extremely energy dense and have potentially catastrophically explosive power. These things are basically TNT. This is a power load. It's TNT. Let's watch it explode. Now, the safety bag being tested today is, I believe, a prototype sent to me from Alter Bags. It was sent to me a little while ago, and this test was done approximately a month or so ago. That's why I don't have it here. It was used and then subsequently appropriately disposed of with hazardous industrial waste. Now, in a previous video where I tested another fireproof safety bag, I also took the time to explain what thermal runaway is, the catastrophic potential of lithium ion cells, and the dangers thereof. I will, of course, link to that video in the description below. You should very much watch it, not just for the fireworks, but for the discussions contained therein of the ways that lithium ion batteries in PEVs can fail. It's always important to have a decent amount of context especially for destructive testing, because none of this stuff happens in a bubble. It very much happens in a space where as much data as possible needs to be extracted from the testing. It's simply not enough to just put something together, sell it, and then just assume that the peace of mind that a consumer may have keeping these kinds of devices in their home is entirely justified. That being said, again, on to the test. Leave it though, we don't know what's left. Now this bag did perform much better than the previous one that was made by Nobleman Tech, which as far as I can see is no longer available. But obviously, as you can see, there are still concerns. I put boxes on either side near vents with the assumption that flammable materials on either side of this bag in practical use could be at risk of combusting. However, what became more clear is that despite the heavy duty Velcro flaps and the buckles on the front of the bag, the fire was directed through the flap downward at the ground. Now, if this were inside on top of carpet or hardwood floor, that would obviously be problematic because the combustion is directed downward on that material, which itself could ignite and then leading to a spreading of the fire. Another issue I saw was that the handle on the bag, which presumably is to remove the bag as quickly as possible at the first sight of danger to an outside location or a less dangerous location in the home, the handle I have doubts about Granted, I did try to grab it at the end of the test and the material melted off. However, it was clear that the external surface of the bag reached such a heat that both the buckles on the front and the webbed nylon material that composed the handle just melted off and was not effective in maintaining its structure so that that item could be used. The buckles kind of melted away, the handle melted away, and so those things weren't very useful for their I assume intended purposes. I'm of course two tests deep into this whole little world of testing fireproof bags. I'm starting to have doubts about the shape's viability, but there is still more testing to be done. And I do very much appreciate though, the direction that the industry is headed in even addressing the risks that are present in housing and charging these types of devices indoors. There is likely going to continue to be 
bit of an ugly tug of war between PEV manufacturers and users and their local municipalities, local governments, and larger governments on regulations, usage, storage, things like that. And so anything that could reduce the risk of owning and storing and charging these types of items, I think is a positive thing. As always, thank you very much for watching. Relevant reading and watching will be, of course, in the description below. Take care of yourselves and don't fall. Oh, and also don't burn. These things are, these things are straight up dangerous.